morning. So a bit of an aside. I've been watching quite a few YouTube videos, as I may have mentioned. It's kind of what inspired this uh, video series on uh, Rover. And one thing that I've come to realize is the iPhone's microphone is a bit of an issue. I, you know, comparing my recordings with the recordings that I've been watching of, from other people on all sorts of topics on YouTube, the in particular the audio volume is much improved. So it got me looking at all sorts of options, microphones for the iPhone, etc, etc. They're crazy expensive. Uh, I mean a few hundred dollars to improve the audio in the grand scheme of things isn't you know gonna kill me. But I mean, I'm just doing this as a hobby, and it's fun, and I thought I'd share it. So I try not to spend money where I don't need to. So it kind of got me looking at alternatives, and for some reason, it never even occurred to me that the MacBook has a camera and is able to record audio and video. So I wanted to do a test to see how the iPhone and MacBook actually compare. So I ran a really simple test at kind of, you know, this sort of length from my face versus this sort of length from my face. So right now I'm sitting back from the laptop screen, um, I don't know, about uh, a foot, foot and a half, that sort of thing. So I did a test with the iPhone at about half that distance and then about the same distance as my face to the MacBook screen. And then, of course, with the MacBook. So let me show you what happened. This is test number one, this is test number one, this is test number one, this is test number one. This is test number two, this is test number two. This is at, let's say, half arm's length, half arm's length. This is test number three, recording from the laptop. This is test number three, recording from the laptop. There you got it. So it's pretty surprising. Uh, you know, what I was most curious about was audio volume. So I know that a lot of you audio people would say that the quality is maybe not great uh, and to some extent I can hear that myself but my greatest concern was simply audio volume and the iPhone just doesn't give you any options to kind of crank that up, boost it, whatever. The MacBook actually does. So I've got the MacBook intake uh, input volume at max uh, and I mean, to my ears, it's night and day, uh, but let me know what you think. In any case, I think this could be a useful kind of DIY, really quick and easy solution for any other vloggers out there um, for any purpose, you know, especially if you're just sitting at your desk doing a chat like I am right now. It's super convenient, and I'm kind of embarrassed to say that it didn't occur to me before. But there you have it. Okay, back to the project. Cheers.